Kelly Robson is Chief of Social Services for Help of Southern Nevada, a nonprofit homeless services organization in Las Vegas. We take clients right out of the streets and put them right into housing. We do mental health assessments and we can pay for the client's medications immediately. This approach, called Housing First, was developed in Los Angeles in the late 1980s and now has been implemented many places around the country. Robson's team of case managers travel the streets of Las Vegas daily looking for people who qualify for housing. There are an estimated 14,000 homeless people in Las Vegas. Some live underground in the city's dark tunnels. Others have makeshift campsites in the triple-digit temperatures of the desert. The connection between mental health and homelessness is a huge problem in, in Nevada. Most of the clients we see have a serious mental illness and they're not medicated. So they're self-medicating with either drugs or alcohol to mask the symptoms of their mental health. So our goal is to get them into housing so that really all that's left to do is to get them into a psychiatrist, get them stabilized on their medications. But they've done x-rays and, and whatnot, right? Okay. And where's the chicken? On one of our visits, case manager Crystal Williams took us to meet one of her clients, Joseph. I lived 19 years homeless. And then when I met Crystal, she came down and offered us food one day. The next day, about oh, a couple days later, I was moving into an apartment just that quick. Uh, thanks to her, I, otherwise I wouldn't have had it. My job is to make sure that I connect um, the clients to the services that they need. Throughout my childhood, um, I was abused and being beat with a horse whip, you know, and then uh, calling a dummy all your life and, you know, and, and people look at you different, you know, and saying, hey, you know, you ain't gonna mount to shit. I'd rather be a loner and stay away from everybody. And I'd hide back in the woods, so far back in the woods you couldn't find me. He has um, these scars and, and one in the back. I knew hair trauma could result in mental issues. I felt uh, the need to, to make sure that he is seen by a professional. Are you taking as directed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. good. Once we were able to house him, I could see the transformation immediately. I survived all of it. And thanks to Crystal, had, you know, it, she's changed my life a lot to where I don't feel like, you know, I'm in jeopardy. You know, I try to keep clean and keep my apartment clean and spotless and, you know, do the right thing. Joseph is just one of the 170 clients Help has placed in housing. What else can we help you with? And at $66 per day, Help's programs cost one-tenth the amount of Ross and Neal's. The chronically homeless individuals with the serious mental illnesses are the ones that if they're not in a program with that intensive case management, then they are spending, they're, they're over-utilizing the emergency room, they're over-utilizing the jails. And it's a huge cost to the community and to the system itself. So it's a lot cheaper and co more cost effective to run a program and actually do the intensive case management and keep them housed than it is to put them back on the streets. Their situation's beyond their control. It's mental health, it's drug addiction, it's past sexual abuse. These are things that they didn't ask for, but they're dealing with. They deserve to have the life that we all have. They deserve to be looked at as human beings, and they deserve the help to be offered the help and services to be able to be productive members of society.